Hey everybody, welcome to Left Paw Gaming. Today we're starting a brand new game series. We are jumping into Resident Evil Village. My hands are sweaty just doing this intro. I know what's coming, and I'm excited for you guys to see. Here we go, the beginning of Resident Evil Village. Let's jump in. Here we go, guys. Village of Shadows. This doesn't Long look right. ago, oh, we a have young story. girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold this reminds me silence. Of Harry Potter. The bushes and the tale of the three brothers. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. This looks creepy. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Oh. Then the Bat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. Why would any so child trust that? So she drank thick, <laughs> dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was oh shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. All right. Across waters Getting deep and ominous she went. Things. Hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful, golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. Oh, that ain't good. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. What? Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. What in the world? If you guys could have seen my I need a face cam. There. Jesus. <laughs> She's asleep. She's reading that story to a child. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. Wow. Traditional to give a your kid nightmares. Tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. <laughs> we Agreed. moved her so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Ooh. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. <laughs> I'll finish dinner. I feel like that's a very common thing to be said between couples. When there's some kind of a little disagreement on something. <laughs> well, why don't you do this? It's okay, Rose. <laughs> Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. We got controls yet? Here we go. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Look at this. Everything just seems dark and creepy about this house. I don't want to walk around here. I'm caught on something. Look at the details in the hand there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. This game looks awesome so far. Almost there, honey. The more realistic a scary game like this looks, the more more nerve-wracking it's gonna get. 
those creepy vibes. It's too early in there the game go, for anything sweetheart. crazy to happen. So Don't I, you worry. I shouldn't fret. I'll be right downstairs. <laughs> but, but I am. Daddy I got sweaty hands already. Monsters get you. Yes, Resident Evil did such a good job with seven. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already sweating about eight here. Well, seven was Biohazard. This one's Village. I'll call it by its proper name. <laughs> Got some photos. Kind of fills us in on at least a little bit of her history. She was the main point of. Uh, I wish it could stay like game. this forever. And now they have a baby. Let's check this computer here. Me and I had another fight. Accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago. She blew up at me. Okay, so the events of last game were three years ago. Okay. She doesn't like to talk about it. Shouldn't we face what happened there before we can live our lives without... Okay. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Well, they got issues they're working through, so... I mean, you know, <laughs> who doesn't, right? You know, everybody's got issues, but they got some some issues. If you haven't played Resident Evil Biohazard, do it. Please. You won't regret it. Tell me about this dinner. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <laughs> Not sulking. You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be. Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It fight happened again. so <laughs> long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so. Oh, <sighs> hold on. Mia, get down. Where in the? We got. Oh my God. Mia. <laughs> she getting lit up. Jesus. I don't even have a weapon. That's a good thing about cutscenes. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Mia. Oh God. Chris, what the hell? Bro. Sorry, Ethan. No. What? Why? Uh. Having a hard time understanding how to feel about this. <laughs> Jesus. Go on, move. Don't push me. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. They were after the kid. Get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Oh. And he's out. Well, this is one way to start a game, right? <laughs> I'm assuming this is how we're going to get to the village. <laughs> we're out. We're knocked out. Hey doc. hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next test before the clock? No problem. We'll be there. We'll be there. Little dream the doc, escape. Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. 
keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Of course you do. All right. <laughs> Jesus, good lord. This looks like it got busted up from from the inside. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not on the Well, I'm using it. Fuck. Ooh. What the hell happened to you? Good lord. Mission objectives. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters, move the two Winterses <laughs> to Site C for further investigation. <laughs> Winterses. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Alright, so we're in a creepy snowscape now. Something just happened. This truck got beat the hell up. Let's... I guess we'll follow these. Oh, that shadow looks cool. We'll follow these footprints. I don't think we should, but you know, <laughs> we have to. Oh, it's gonna be hard to not be quiet during this game. I need, I need to talk. You know, keep you guys entertained. What if I talk? I can't hear the creepy. Creepy ambient sounds all around me. Oh, come on, man. Do not enter. Of course, this is the only way we have to go. Son of a... All right. You know, before Biohazard, I think the last Resident Evil game I played was... Five... And that was kind of like a fall from grip. Oh no. Let's investigate. You know, 5 was alright, but it wasn't what I wanted for Resident Evil. Oh man. Of course, we have to go this way. <laughs> but 7, Biohazard, whatever you want to call it. That was a return to form that I thoroughly enjoy, and I... Oh, gross. Gross. So I'm back. I'm back in the game. I didn't play one game. <laughs> and I didn't play Biohazard for ever. But... Oh. But I heard so many awesome things about it. I actually got Resident Evil 3 when I bought my new PC last year. And I played that, and I was like, you know, I'll play seven, fine. You twisted my arm. Uh, oh, no. Chase him. Let's just chase him. <laughs> oh, these sounds are killing me. You know, your flashlight would be able to go farther than this. I hate that we can't see that far. Ah, here we go. Some, uh, creepy house. All kinds of stupid sounds around us. <laughs> you know, I'm not really... <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm not, like, really scared. 
or anything like that. But like, man, whenever I play games like this, my hands get so damn sweaty. <laughs> Drop the controller when something happens. <laughs> I guess it's being put on edge. Not scared, just put on edge. Cause like I, I want to see stuff jump out at me, but you know that's just me. I can't take this. All right, we'll close it. We're done with you. Can't get to the other ones. Please don't keep doing that. It's so dark. Pills. There's a little blood on the table. Something in here. Get out here and face me. See those sounds, man. It just <laughs> They're trying to get us. They're doing good. <laughs> They're doing a good job. Oh, damn it. Oh, we need something to go down. Oh, I don't want to go down here. <laughs> But we're gonna do it. You, you know what? These creepy ambient noises are really doing a good job of making this game, you know. Realistic, this is a place you wouldn't go investigating. Like, nobody in their right mind. Oh, there's garlic hanging here. There's a bunch of garlic hanging here. Where the hell are we exploring? That's cool looking. It sounded like somebody was clapping. Ah! <laughs> that got me. <laughs> Damn it. or a rat. Tell you what, guys. Play this game with a 7.1 headset. You're welcome. And hopefully you don't have nightmares. Anyways. Start hearing shit that's not there. Oh my god. Hold on. And of course, the only way we can go is back up into that nonsense. All right. Well, let's see. And this flashlight. This flashlight still sucks. Oh, there's something still in here. Oh, the, oh look at oh, all this blood we gotta crawl through. Or is that just fresh blood running down? It kind of looked like there was a cut in the middle of his hand. What did all this? Right? What ran through here like that? Oh my god. We got some daylight outside now, so that's kind of good, I guess. That's the same drawer with the stuff I can't grab. And we still have no weapon or anything like that. We're just out here barefoot. Walking along this snowy trail.
Where the hell am oh I? Oh my god, look at this. Well, this must be the village. It kind of looks like the castle from that uh, Village of Shadows book <sighs> that Mia was reading Rose at the beginning. Well, that's always good to know that we're going to that creepy place. <laughs> Stuff's about to go down. I just, <laughs> I just know it. Oh, I'm not ready for it. Emotionally. <laughs> well, let's. Oh boy. Maybe, maybe they're out. Easy lock to pick. Find some lock picks then, or something that I can use as a lock pick. I wonder what the lock pick in this game is going to be. There's a lot of like heavy noises of things going on. I'm just <laughs> I'm just waiting for something to be standing behind me when I turn. This is our items menu. I'm just pressing buttons to see if I can get any responses. I know we're in, you know, tutorial mode, but well, that's a little, it's a little um, uh, a guard. There we go. I'm sure I'll be told that in a moment, but I like trying to figure the controls out myself. I know a lot of games do tutorial stuff, but I'm a button presser, and then I press the wrong buttons later on anyway. So it's not like it matters if I learn the buttons. I can't even pick up this little knife looking thing here. Or is that just a hole? That's just a hole in the table. Ah, I saw that. Man. <laughs> so whatever's around here, it's probably just stalking me. So, that's, that's awesome. Needs some other item to use as well. Awesome. Oh boy. Alright, what's in here? Looks like nothing. Not a lot of direction given in this game, but I guess, you know, it... That makes sense. We're in a position where the character doesn't really know where the hell he is, so why would he know where to go? Gotta remember, you're playing the game from someone's perspective. Locked. Do not enter. Well, I'm gonna go through there at some point this game. I know it. It's gonna happen. Let's go back up this way. I feel like right now there's nothing going on, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Getting our bearings. I don't know what the hell to do in this village. Alright, so this looks like the main path. Where we saw, you know, stuff drug away. I didn't react to it. Is this place really just empty? I saw a couple buildings we can go into over here, so let's let's try to hit these. Sounds like stuff jumped on the roof, but uh, there's not a lot of the roof left, so. Oh, they're probably peeking in at us through a hole. Anything in here? Crouch down. No, of course not.
basically, I'm just looking around right now because I want something to defend myself from whatever the hell's about to pop out at us. But I have nothing. like a little outdoor watershed or the toilet it's a common common word for it I feel like there's some music or a radio or something going on all right down this path we go More things hanging here. This is just running. What happened? Those, yeah, those are animals hanging there like that. Oh boy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Like there's oh no, there's nobody down this path. <laughs> I'm psyching myself up. Oh, there's a light on up here, so maybe there's somebody to talk to. That sound's getting louder, that radio noise or whatever. Locked due to missing homo. Oh, great. Great. Can't open this. Okay, here we go. Next creepy building. Examine. Some force could break it. And all my force button, I, I'm not doing anything. Let's, uh, let's explore. We can't break that yet, so. Get this knife, pick it up. If we're getting a weapon, that means stuff's about to go down, so. Let's go break this, see if there's something more useful in here. First aid, okay. That's you. Great. <laughs> so, we're, we're gonna get attacked. Here's the menu. We already pulled this up by accident, so we have that. With the knife and the first aid, we can organize these. That's kind of cool. All right. Pretty simple inventory. I may not cut these parts out of this game. Normally I do, but... I don't know. We'll see. It's all up in the air. <laughs> all right. Anything? Did they just... Run out of the house? That looks fresh, right? Can't really tell it's a game. I can't tell if it's warm or not. Oh, there's somebody in there. Let's go the long way here. Let's pull this open. Come on. Real slow. Oh, no, Jesus. No, friendly. Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh, that's a terrified face. Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Oh boy. Here we go. It's about to go down. And don't move so slow. There's creepy shit here. Grab that gun. Let's go. Are you listening? Hey! Dude. What the? He just got yanked through the ceiling. What is happening? Shit! 
Oh, I can't tell what's there. Oh my god. Dead body? Wait, there's more. Oh my god, there's so many more. 20 bullets. <laughs> 20 bullets. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. You're not kidding. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. There's something back there. Oh boy, there's something back there. Oh my god! What is that? No way. Straight had his hand bit. Oh my god, parts of his hand bit. Oh my god. Better get that gun ready, boy. No. That's a aim. Oh boy. Oh boy. Lots of misses. Big time guard. Big time guard. Reload. Man, why is it taking so many bullets to put him down? I'm going for his head, too. What the hell? Oh, I shouldn't have put that extra one in. We only got two left. Um. What? Where do we go now? Oh, boy. I feel like we shouldn't go back in here. Let's look around. Bolt cutters. Nice. Usable. I don't need to view the key items. I know we got the bolt cutters. I'm sure it'll prompt us to use them. I mean, not, not like my two bullets are going to do anything, but... Oh, it takes us right to the screen. Okay, bolt cutters. Hey, yeah, we want to pop these and get the hell out of here. Why are those doors open so slow? <laughs> I don't want that. There's probably more places to explore back there, but... We're going to go down here real quick. This looks like a little dead end, okay. Nothing back here. Doesn't look like there's anything to pick up. Ooh, that was nerve wracking. Oh, come on. Just saw another body get pulled through here. Let's go. <laughs> we have nothing. We have two bullets and this knife. We can shortcut stuff. Alright, it's already set. Okay, cool. So left and up are my shortcuts. That'll be good. We're going to go in with the knife because we can guard. This radio just died. Nothing. How's it go from static to nothing when I haven't even touched it? Oh, there we go. Oh, somebody was just killed upstairs. Barricade the doorway with shelves. Let's do that. Hold. It says hold. I wonder if this will allow me to like hold it steady. Nope, just opens it again. Oh, we should close that. Close it, close it, close it. And whatever's in here with us, we'll just stay in here with us. Let's go up and see. Oh, man. <laughs> That's got my heart racing. I thought that was something there. 
go. Chem fluid. Somebody's about to drop in. Let's get downstairs before he does. So we have the door barricaded. Oh. I feel like this isn't even a good spot to stand. We got that window behind us. Probably hands. Somebody turn. Oh, oh, hey, hey now. I need some auto aim assistance, man. <laughs> we suck. There we go. There we go. Couple misses. Couple taps. Have a reload already. Oh, no. We're gonna die our first encounter. Come on. Get out of here. Kill one? Hey, I like that. Radio's back. Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Alright, guys. <laughs> I'm cutting the video off there. There's still a lot of wild stuff that happened. So. Husband's wife... Husband is Ethan, wife is Mia, she was shot and killed, and Chris Redfield from Resident Evil Biohazard walks in, abducts the baby and Ethan, and they're gone. They're in the wind now, so we wake up in a wreckage, and we're here, the village. We got attacked by stuff that looks like werewolves, I'm assuming, and now when we come back, it's time for us to go to Louise's house. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you mash that like button. I want to see as many likes as we can possibly get on this video so I can put out as much as possible. But as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video.